good afternoon students today we are going to discuss about uh, one more other part of excretory system in this part we are going to discuss about the composition of urine later on we will discuss about the dialysis so first topic we are going to discuss about composition of urine what is our topic composition of composition of urine okay what does it contain that is a concept we are going to discuss urine is a pale transparent substance that is expelled out by the excretory system transparent sub substance that is expelled out by the excretory system so here urine is in amber color what is amber color amber means yellow amber means water yellow amber yellow color urine is in yellow color what is the reason for urine is in yellow color in the urine there is a substance which we call as urochrome Euro, chrome, eurochrome. There is a substance due to presence of eurochrome. Urine is in yellow color. So amber color or yellow color due to presence of eurochrome in our urine. Right. So urine formation is depend on based on our intake. based on our diet so if you take more amount of proteins in your diet what will happen the more urea presents in your urine what is the concept here if you take more proteins in your diet proteins look here proteins if more proteins are present in your diet what is present in your urine urea present in your urine why more urea present in your urine means whenever that proteins entered into the liver so deanimated and it change as a urea so that expel out to by the by the mixtuation so urine send out from our body so what is the concept here why more urine is there deanimate at the liver liver deanimate animated so liver deanimated at the liver it deanimate means break down and it change as so, urea that urea send out along with the urine from our body by the mixtuation process so then if you take more food if you intake more amount of food then sugar levels also increases and automatically more urine formation occur that also send out from our body as a urine if you take more liquids and more urine formation occur that also expel out the from our body water or juices whatever you take so urine formation occur which means what i am going to say so based on our diet the formation of urine depends proteins more means urea more present in our urine that is expel out if you take more uh, food uh, sugar levels are more and that also reduce from our body as a urine if you take more water or juices that also send out from our body so this is the formation of urine based on our diet okay now what does it contain what does urine contain that's a question i am going to ask you what does the urine contain what does the urine the urine contain what does the urine contain so 
where does the urine where does the urine contain so, urine consist of water inorganic and organic substances so i am going to show as a map urine 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 consist of organic and inorganic what are those organic and inorganic organic substances organic substances and inorganic substances inorganic substances so 96% of water also present in that how much is 96% of water water so organic inorganic and 96% of water what are organic substances present in the urine we can write another question what does urine contain urine contain 96% of water organic substances and inorganic substances one more question what are organic substances are present in our urine in our urine urea uric acid creatine creatinine okay creatine creatinine and other substances vitamins vitamins okay hormones oxalates water soluble vitamins hormones oxalates so these are urea uric acid okay urea uric acid next what they say urea uric acid along with urea uric acid some of the other substances what are other substances here creatine creatine and creatinine creatinine okay water soluble water soluble vitamins water soluble vitamins and oxalates 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 etc these are all organic substances present in the urine these are 2.5 percentage present in the urine next inorganic 1.5 percentage of inorganic substances those are solutes inorganic solid substances solutes magnesium calcium chloride sodium so there is a huge list is there what are those sodium sodium chloride sodium chloride sodium and chloride and phosphate sulfate phosphate sulfate is it appearing or not phosphate and the sulfate okay phosphate sulfate along with magnesium calcium and iodine magnesium mg calcium ca iodine so these are the substances we can find in the urine these are inorganic solutes those are organic substances along with the 90 percentage of water 96 percentage of water so these are all present in the urine so what did i ask the question what does the urine contain urine contain 96 percent of water organic substances these inorganic substances those so all present in the urine this is a urine consist of next so when the urine formation occur that is uh, at the beginning of uh, urine formation that is in acidic in state so end of the urine uh, expel out it changes alkaline state because of some metabolic activities whatever the substance is adding acid changes into basic state so that is beginning acid ending alkaline state because urea forms to ammonia urea forms to ammonia so that's what that is in alkaline state so up to here urine consists of all the things 
ओके नेक्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट अदर टॉप बिफोर गोइंग टू दैट देर इज अ क्वेश्चन इन अवर टेक्स्ट बुक रिकॉर्डिंग टू टेक्स्ट बुक वी आर डिस्कसिंग वाट इज अदर टॉपिक इफ बोथ किडनी आर फेल्यूर्स वाट विल हैपन सो हि वाट इज दट वाट हैपन इफ द बोथ किडनी फेल्यूर फेल कंप्लीटली सो देर इज नो ब्लड फिल्ट्रेशन there is no formation of urine then the waste materials will be stored in our blood itself that change our toxic substances we may die also not may we might die so that's what we have to remove all the waste materials from our blood what we have to do to remove all the blood uh, all the waste materials from our blood so there is a process that we call as dialysis that we call as a dialysis so how do we do that that we will discuss yeah so now we are going to discuss about dialysis is that dialysis so before going to discuss about dialysis some conditions are asking here what is uremia there is a question what is uremia this is one more question or two more question what is uremia this is a question asking in our textbook so there is no question in our textbook actually we can make our own question what is uremia whenever our blood kidney failures such a condition is called uremia so if the both kidneys are fail what we have to do we go for the dialysis why did i say that just now i have taught that uh, i have teach that uh, if the both kidneys are fail the waste materials will be stored in our blood that change as toxic substances we might die so that's what to prevent our death or to escape from the death we have to remove the waste materials from our blood itself so to remove that we go for the dialysis so failure condition only we call as uremia now we go for the dialysis so what is the process Uh, which involved there in the dialysis whatever the machine we are using dialyzer that what we want to discuss dialyzer dialyzer the machine name which we use to remove the waste materials from our blood that is called a dialyzer so here by using the dialyzer we can remove the waste materials from our blood so there is a picture which is given here so these are the channels we can see that uh, these are the channels so like this some of the channels are there so like this by using these channels what happened here by using these channels they can insert so here one bed like structure which is given in our textbook so one of the patient who go for the dialysis so the patient will be on the bed so look there there is a patient so from here the patient's artery connected to the dialysis machine systemic aorta or aorta we call it so what is the reason so that pump blood into the dialyzer machine so here what happened the blood moves in these channels the blood moves in these channels then finally that blood is collected in the body so this is the blood purified blood what is it the blood collected in a bag so before adding to artery to the dialyzer machine they add heparin heparin this is anticoagulant in that uh, bottle and even here also in that machine because whenever the blood moving in that channels the blood will not clot in our blood vessels also heparin is there due to that only in our blood vessels blood will not clot agglutant means clumping clumping will not occur it is in liquid state it can move and uh, it can purifies and it collect blood in another bottle in another bottle 
the waste materials along with the urine so urine we can collect in the other body this is the urine so here is a blood so after that what will happen this blood again inject into the person's vein here iota iota through the iota it connected to the machine so after purification the blood is connected to the person through the vein so this is the process so here dialyzer machine we are using the that whole process is called hemodialysis what is the name of that hemodialysis hemodialysis hemo dialysis so this is a process hemodialysis okay hemodialysis the process hemodialysis h a e m o t a l hemodialysis so here hemodialysis method we are using to remove waste materials from our body so this machine is called dialyzer the process is called hemodialysis so what is uremia already we discussed when both kidneys fail yours so that condition is called uremia so there is a one mode also given in our textbook that is e s r d e s r d what is e s r d end stage renal dialysis so uremia nothing but this one only so whenever the uremia occur that is also known as end stage renal dialysis we go for hemodialysis in that hemodialysis they use dialyzer machine and they filtrate the blood in one bottle and they filtrate the urine in another bottle so blood purification occur by using the dialyzer machine then the purified blood again uh, inject into the body through the vein so before going to send the blood into the dialyzer or collecting the blood into the body they use a substance which we call as heparin this is very very important word heparin so why do we add heparin in that bottle so to prevent the blood clotting in that uh, bottle why do we add why it is uh, flowing in that uh, there also heparin is there in that dialyzer machine also blood will not clot so this is the process the why do we go for the dialysis means whenever both kidneys fail or when the uremia condition occur that is called uh, failure of kidneys so at that time we have to go for dialysis so how much time will it take 3 to 6 hours what is the duration 3 to 6 hours 3 to 6 hours will take for dialysis so some highly expensive process only this is uh, once in a three days or twice in a week we should go for the dialysis who those who are in uremia condition so this is about dialysis so here a little comparison is there uh, so so many questions also we can ask here i am going to ask one by one from the today's beginning so today's beginning already i asked three questions in that uh, uh, first uh, composition of uh, urine so organic inorganic substances so water organic and water inorganic substance in the urine and uh, how much percentage of water is a 96 percentage so what is uh, present in the urine uh, why the urine is in yellow color urochrome is there due to that uh, urine is in yellow color so that is in the first part here so many questions what are the questions i am going to ask you just you listen carefully what did we add in the dialyzer machine to prevent the clotting of blood heparin substances so what is the difference between uh, dialyzer and normal condition that means uh, normal function in our uh, body so in our body what happened kidney filtrate the blood uh, urea um, urea uric acids whatever the substances which are waste which are collected by the kidney that send into the ureter ureter to urinary bladder it is expelled out so remaining blood again it transfer to the heart heart to lungs purification occur again it rotated in the uh, normal condition in our body but here urine and blood separated after collecting the blood again we want to inject into in our body so this is the difference between the dialysis and the kidney there is a major difference so here 
only urine expel out in a normal condition but here urine separated and blood separated blood we want again inject into our body that is a condition next what is hemodialysis when our both kidneys are failures so we go for a remove the waste metals from our body that whole process is called hemodialysis then what is the abbreviation of esrd end stage renal disease end stage renal disease what is uremia both kidney failure condition is called uremia so which machine do we use to remove the waste materials from our blood for dialysis